this smaller one here with the larger claws is a male. Red swamp crayfish are common in places like Louisiana, but in Nova Scotia, it's an invasive species. Their presence was first reported to DFO after being spotted by someone who posted a pic of one to Facebook in September of 2022. That sighting led to the trapping of 70 more here at Three Mile Lake. This type of crayfish has potentially severe impacts on ecosystems. It can alter the ecosystem structure. It preys on fish eggs, um, competes with native species for available resources, for space. They can get up to 12 centimeters in length. The exact impact the crayfish will have on other species is still being studied, but they do have hard shells. They need calcium to build that, so other species like a freshwater mussel may suffer because of it. How exactly the crayfish got here is yet to be determined, but they are available through the live organism trade for food and are used by fishers for bait. Mild winter weather would only serve to help them survive. Crayfish make burrows and they stay in the burrows during the winter time. And if that burrow water doesn't freeze, then they have a higher chance of survival. DFO is asking the public not to pick up any of the crayfish if you see them, as it could impact their trapping operations and lead to introducing it elsewhere. It can host multiple types of parasites. If you do spot one, you can contact researchers at smu.ca slash crayfish.